let us have some a discussion on common steel structures examples so what are the examples common steel structures in what way use steel structures the first one as a roof truss members even your compression members even your tension members like column column bases etc the first point is as a roof trusses as a roof trusses in factories industries and also in your cinema halls and auditoriums etc it is in the form of in this way a truss member and this is also an example for your truss member in factories second one the truss member in, the, in your railway station as a railway platform roof truss in your railway station it is used under transmission towers for your cell phone signals or transmission towers like signal towers even your high volt carrying wires for transmission of electricity that is transmission towers and power towers transmission towers and power towers so this is an example for your transmission tower is an example for your power transmission tower even in your water tanks steel water tanks even chimneys this chimneys are mostly used in your industries steel chimneys they'll be in the form of in this way when steel water tanks in military areas steel water tanks chimneys in your transmission towers and power towers roof trusses in railway stations roof trusses in factories industries auditoriums and cinema halls this is an example for your chimney steel water tank transmission towers industrial roof truss and roof truss these are examples for your common steel structures is it clear now let us discuss about merits and demerits of your steel structures whenever there is a good or equally there is an opposite we have a bad in the same way even for your steel structures we have merits and also a demerits this merits and demerits question is very important question for your examination this question will come for sure for 3 marks in your part 
it comes in an exam like what are the merits and demerits of your steel structures so let us differentiate merits and demerits of your steel structures merit and demerits and the merit the first point is speed in construction of work speed in construction of the work modifications and alterations can be done very easily modification in alterations dismantle and reuse of steel can be done dismantle and reuse can be done the fourth point is it occupies less space then your rcc the self weight of steel is very less self weight of steel is very less so these are all the merits now let us discuss about demerits and the demerits the cost of construction is very high cost of construction is very high highly affected to corrosion highly affected to corrosion temperature stresses are very high temperature stresses are very high it requires skilled labor it requires skilled labor it creates more noise during placing and erection it creates more noise during placing and erection it requires more electricity so these all are the demerits of your steel structures so what is my merits and demerits the first point is speed in construction of work so what is my speed in construction of work for example for your rcc structure takes one year for construction and meanwhile we can construct by using a steel stru structures of within a 6 months of time so we can construct the work we can complete the work very quickly and and speedily the work is completed very quickly second one is modifications and alterations can be done easily for example you want to make any changes in your structure or in your design you can easily do in your steel structures but it can't be done in your rcc once you construct a structure in, by using a concrete and reinforcement it cannot be done changes or alterations whereas in same way in steel structures we can do very easily third point dismantling and reuse 
in your steel structures after construction if you are not satisfied you can reuse that materials in your next construction the same way in your rcc icon after construction if you dismantle is nothing it is scrap you can't use at all there is no scrap value for your rcc whereas for your steel there is a good scrap value it occupies less space than your rcc structure that is the reason we use these structures mostly in, in your industries warehouses for large spaces shelf weight of steel structures is very less than your rcc so what are the demerits the cost of construction is very high when you compare to cost with the rcc the cost of construction of your steel structures is very high highly affected to corrosion so proper cure must be taken to prevent the corrosion and again it's a cost it increases the cost third point is temperature stresses as the temperature increases stresses also increase in structure that is also a drawback fourth point it requires skill labor it means that the person who is having a proper knowledge on steel structures only can do the work it means it is known as skill labor it creates more noise during placing and erection it creates more noise and, and, and disturbances unwanted sound the last point is it requires more electricity for welding purposes that is the reason we require electricity here so this is all are the demerits and merits of your steel structures this question is very important for your exam for 3 marks this question is very important for your exam for 3 marks so what are the merits and demerits merits speed in construction of work modifications and alterations can be done easily dismantle and reuse of your steel structures it occupies less space than your rcc the shelf weight of steel is very low whereas for your demerits of steel structures the cost of construction is very high highly affected to corrosion temperature stresses are very high it requires skill labor it creates more noise during placing and erection whereas it requires more electricity